Hi there, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Today we're gonna to take a quick look at this Kodiak 13 inch hub and rotor disc brake assembly set. This is going to allow you to upgrade your trailer from drum brakes to disc brakes so that you can take advantage of the superior performance that comes along with having disc brakes on your vehicle. Or if you already have disc brakes and you're just looking for a higher quality finish, uh, this is going to have the decrement plate uh, plating on it so it is going to hold up much better than most uh, finishes so it is going to be a great option for you as well. Uh, having the two brake assemblies here is going to allow us to upgrade a single 8,000 pound capacity axle with the number 42 spindles. Our rotors are 13 inches in diameter and they have the eight uh, 9 16 inch diameter bolts here, um, the eight on six and a half inch bolt pattern. So these are gonna work for your wheels that are 16 inches and larger. Having that uh, decrement finish on our hubs, rotors, uh, calipers, and our caliper mounting brackets is going to offer excellent rust and corrosion resistance for us. It has a, a salt spray rating between 300 and 400 hours. Uh, so these are gonna be great for your boat trailers and trailers that are used in coastal areas or on heavily treated roads where they're gonna have a lot of contact with salt in those kind of corrosive environments. If you're looking at your good, better, best kind of scenario, uh, I think uh, the very best that I know of is a stainless steel construction, uh, but these dichromate finishes are going to be just slightly underneath them. So uh, definitely a major improvement over uh, having unfinished hub and rotors and uh, even a little bit higher than your e-coats. So uh, definitely a good way to go if you're going to uh, have your trailer in really corrosive environments like that. So then upgrading your trailer from uh, drum brakes to disc brakes is also going to have several different benefits for you. Uh, you're going to notice a much better performance. Uh, these do have these ceramic brake pads here that help to increase stopping power. They also have a large two and a half inch diameter stainless steel piston that provides fast responsive braking. So you'll notice your shop, sh uh, your stopping distance is going to be much shorter. These are also going to provide smoother, more controlled braking for you. So it's gonna help keep your trailer from pushing and pulling like you're probably used to with your drum brakes. And in addition to better performance, these are also going to require minimal maintenance. So it is gonna help save you time and money over your drum brakes. Having the one piece hub and rotor assembly does reduce the chance of uneven rotor wear. And here on the side, you can see we do have uh, the a vented design that's going to help dissipate heat faster to prevent premature brake pad wear. Now those brake pads will wear down over time and you will need to switch those out, but it's a pretty straightforward process and those are really the only components that will need to be switched out. Uh, unlike with your drum brakes, I have the springs and all those other small components in it. Uh, these are, are going to be a lot less for you to have to maintain and replace. So it is going to help save you time and money over the long run. These are high quality automotive grade construction. Uh, so they are going to be very long lasting for you. Now, one caveat with upgrading from drum brakes to disc brakes is that disc brakes do require a higher line pressure than your drum brakes. Uh, so you are going to need to make sure you have a hydraulic brake actuator and brake lines that are rated for 1500 PSI or higher uh, to in order to properly activate these brakes. And if your trailer is already set up for drum brakes, it's pretty unlikely uh, that your system is going to be able to handle that much pressure. Uh, so you will need to uh, get some new components. It might take some doing to get that all switched over for you. Uh, if you don't already have a hydraulic brake actuator and brake lines rated for that 1500 PSI, we do have those available here at eTrailer.com. Obviously, it's not included in this set, so it's not this set isn't going to be everything that you need, um, but it is going to give you the two uh, dichromate plated cast iron hub and rotor assemblies. Uh, it's also going to have the eight 9 16th inch pre-installed wheel bolts on each. We'll get the 16 9 16th inch zinc plated steel lug nuts uh, to hold your wheel in place on there. We also have our two uh, dichromate plated cast iron calipers. And on the back side here, you can see we've got those uh, two dichromate plated uh, ductile iron caliper mounting brackets. 
These do have the four bolt brake flange configuration, so they are gonna be very easy to get mounted on your axle. Now I do wanna point out that I have these uh, displayed on top just for balance purposes, but when you actually go to install these, they are gonna be mounted on the side. That side support design puts all the weight on the mounting bracket instead of on your bolts. So it helps your bolts last longer. You're going to get four of these stainless steel caliper mounting bolts, two for each uh, assembly. We are going to have our inner and our outer races pre-installed. We'll also get our inner and outer bearings here. Let's make sure that these are uh, rotating smoothly. This system is lubricated with oil, so we're going to have our inner oil seals, our two oil caps, and we're also going to get uh, one eight ounce bottle of synthetic bearing oil. I have to make sure that everything's uh, moving around in there uh, without too much friction. So again, if you are wanting to upgrade from drum brakes to disc brakes, or if you already have your disc brakes and you're just wanting a higher quality finish uh, so that your brake assemblies will last longer for you, these are gonna be a great upgrade for you. That completes our look for today. Again, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Thanks for watching.